we're going to be discussing carrying capacity and how to calculate carrying capacity. As any population increases in size, the same resources must be shared by a greater and greater number of species. It is crucial that there is a balance between the number of organisms and the amount of resources available. This balance is called carrying capacity. I'm going to walk you through the steps and show you how to calculate carrying capacity for a forest and deer for our particular example. So this first question, a forest of what type, both the species and diameter of oak tree will yield a maximum supply of acorns? So looking at the table to the left, there's five different oak species. Their diameter is the very first column and then it shows how many acorns per year they drop. So if we look at our water oak, if we go down to 65 centimeters in diameter, our water oak is going to produce 11.3 kilograms per year of acorns. Therefore, our water oak will give us the maximum supply of acorns at 65 centimeters. So keeping that in mind, we are going to look at a habitat that has 25 water oaks per acre. The oak's diameter is 65 centimeters. So what is the acorn potential for this acre? So if we have 25 water oaks and they each produce 11.3 kilograms of acorns a year, we're going to multiply that times the amount of oaks that we have in our forest. So all we're going to take is 25 because that's the amount of oak trees that we have times how much it produces, which is 11.3 kilograms. So that means that we have 282.5 kilograms in our 25 acre forest. So in a year's time, 25 water oak trees will produce 282.5 kilograms worth of acorns each year. Now we need to remember this number for our next 0.5 kilograms of acorns. So let's look at how much our water oaks can support a deer. So the average deer requires two kilograms of food per day. 25% of those two kilograms is made up of acorns. So our very first step is determining just how many kilograms of acorns our deer is going to need to consume each and every day. So we're first going to take 25% of our two kilograms to determine just how many acorns our deer needs to eat each day. So 0.25 times two kilograms is going to give us 0.5 kilograms. So this is how many acorns per day our deer will need to consume. Now if we, we remember how much our forest is actually making per year, it's 282.5 kilograms. So that's the amount of acorns per, per year produced in this particular forest. So knowing that our deer needs to consume 0.5 kilograms a day, we need to take our 0.5 kilograms and we're going to multiply it by 365 days because that's how many days are in one year. And so we're looking at 5. So that means that this forest, wherever this deer must live, has to be able to produce a minimum of 182.5 kilograms per year to support one deer. 
So if we look at the total number that we previously calcu calculated for the amount that our forest is producing of acorns, we get 282.5 kilograms. So that means that in this particular forest, only one deer can survive. So the carrying capacity for this forest is one deer. That's it. So that's not a lot. And you also have to consider the other species that would be using the acorn as a food source as well. And you also have to remember that some of those acorns do need to go back into the soil to regenerate the population of oaks. So not all of the acorns that are dropped are going to be available as a food source for our deer. So in this particular case, our carrying capacity is very low and only one deer could survive if our oak trees only produce 282.5 kilograms and our deer need 182.5 kilograms to survive. When you're calculating carrying capacity, this is just one of numerous steps to be able to see the big picture. If we were to take this a little bit farther, we could even look at calculating other species that would be consuming the same food on the same area. We could be looking at the number of acorns that would be going into the soil to become plants. And then we could also put in some factors like what if there's a drought that particular, particular year and the amount of acorns produced each year is diminished. So it goes from 282.5 kilograms to maybe 200. And so every little variable within our habitat and within our ecosystem impacts our carrying capacity. So it's really important to maintain a balanced and stable environment because that's the only way that all species will be able to survive and be healthy in that environment.